here in Concord at the regional airport, home of 526 Delta Sierra. See up over my shoulder, we got beautiful blue skies, no wind. It's a great day for flying. Only problem is I'm not supposed to be in Concord, North Carolina. I'm supposed to be in Ontario, Canada. I was supposed to fly up there yesterday and uh, 526 Delta Sierra has decided not to cooperate. Let's go take a look. This is where 526 Delta Sierra sleeps at night. It's a community hangar. Got some big planes, little planes, King Air back there, some Pipers. And as you can see, no cowling on the plane. It's not usually a good sign. If you saw the video for the last flight, remember that we had an alternator failure. And we thought we had that fixed. We found a loose wire in there. We reconnected it and took the plane out for a test. And uh, the volts went so high, they went right off the top of the scale. So the voltage regulator was the next idea. Must not be actually regulating the voltage. So it lives over here. It's this little blue box right here. So we managed to source one, used one just temporary to try. Just zip tied it on right here and hooked it up and tried it again. <laughs> We're still having the voltage problem. So we did find another problem. If you can see right there, it looks like a piece of wire has gotten abraded on the baffle, just uh, taking the insulation off and actually broken a little wire there. Might be a ground wire, I don't know. I just fly them. I don't work on them. So I had to postpone my trip to Canada. I got some family up there we were gonna go visit, but we've postponed that. And hopefully we'll get somebody here working on this thing and get it straightened out fairly soon.